today we'll test our equipment in some rather extreme conditions. We will be using liquid nitrogen while overclocking the processor and the GPU for mining. Our experiment requires the necessary preparations. Let's start with the assembly of the stand. First we remove the radiators from the motherboard. We we'll place the motherboard onto a stand while isolating the area surrounding the processor from the condensable moisture by using a ductile material. Additionally, we'll use wipes, but varnish can also be used to isolate moisture from the motherboard. To install the processor, we'll need the processor itself, some ethanol, thermal paste. For best results, it's necessary to remove the metal processor cover, to scalp it essentially. In our case, the processor is already scalped. Apply a large amount of thermal paste. A large amount is required to prolong the time it takes for the paste to freeze and avoid cracks from appearing. If the paste cracks, then our experiment fails. Install the into ports on the processor. For testing, we'll use a Camino water block, specially designed copper plates which are manufactured for our technology of deforming cutting, are used in our water blocks. We we'll install the GPU onto the water block connected to the pump and the radiator through a network of hoses. Fill the console with antifreeze and connect the GPU to the motherboard with the riser. Then, we we'll turn on the system and check that everything works without using liquid nitrogen. If the system loads without error, then we reboot and open BIOS. Pour liquid nitrogen into the music board installed on the central processor to preliminary freeze it. After that, we we'll set the BIOS settings. Now we have the opportunity to set the required voltage and frequency parameters, since our processor is already sufficiently cooled. After loading up Windows, we we'll start Signbench R15 to check the conditions of the thermal paste and the stability of the system. We need to compare the temperature indicators on the thermometer to those on the inside of the processor. All the readings are normal, but using ASUS Turbo V and the MSI Afterburner, we're able to overclock the processor and the GPU even more, therefore increasing the hash rate. For temperature and frequency monitoring, we use GPU Z and real temp. When we start up the miner, it is vital to monitor the temperature on the central processor and to add liquid nitrogen as an adjustment or remove it with a torch burner. As for the GPU, we can either turn off the miner and let the car cool down or heat the antifreeze and the into port with an ordinary hair dryer. To determine the reference point, let's take a look at the GPU's hash rate for Ethereum mining before overclocking. We'll use the Claymore 11.7 software to do it. BIOS is pre-modified on our GPUs. We change the memory timings. To we'll start mining, the indicator for a GPU with a modified BIOS is 29.3 megahash per second. The same water block and radiator will be used for cooling, but this time without the liquid nitrogen. After overclocking the processor with the use of liquid nitrogen to a value of 6 GHz and the GPU up to 1153-2250 GPU versus memory, we got the results of 33.3 MHz per second. Temperatures The process is at minus 102 degrees Celsius, GPU in idle mode is 0 degrees, in a working mode 23 degrees Celsius. Conclusion in this video we showed how to assemble a system in which both the processor and the GPU can be cooled using liquid nitrogen. Also we showed how to overclock them to the extreme. We see that for Ethereum mining this appeared to be ineffective. It is expensive and takes a lot of time to set up. It is possible to use liquid nitrogen for the processor and GPU cooling, but the effect is short term. Since nitrogen evaporates quickly, it should be constantly poured into the into pot. At the same time, we see that there is no difference between the processor overclocked to 6 GHz and the processor we used in our system for GPU mining. The most effective solution for cooling a GPU during mining is the Camino liquid coolant system. Subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below and of course be sure to like the video. Thanks everyone and until next time.